Hello and welcome. This is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So today we're going to talk about making your own SVG files and I'm going to do a course review. So I get asked all the time about making SVG files. It is a more complicated process than it might seem from the outside. So there are quite a few elements to actually creating your own SVG files correctly. And you wanna do those correctly, especially if you're thinking about selling those SVG files, or if you wanna get really good at them to make your own shirts or whatever to sell shirts or merchandise with your own designs. So as part of my small business series, I thought it would be a good idea to review a course that goes into how to make your own SVG files. And this course actually uses Inkscape. Inkscape is a free program. So whereas like, for me, I'm, I make my own SVG files and I sell SVG files in my shop, but I use a program called Adobe Illustrator and I pay a monthly fee to access that. So if you wanna get started for a little less cost, Inkscape is a great option because it's a free program. And then once you learn to use that program, you can make your own SVG files. If you wanted to upgrade later, the same type of techniques apply to something like Adobe Illustrator. There would be a slight learning curve, but at least you would know like the terminology and that type of thing. So if you're ready to jump into Inkscape, get started making your own SVG files, I would recommend the course from svgme.com. So I will link to the website where you can sign up for the course in the description below, and it will be my affiliate link. However, like this entire thing is just my own opinion of the course and my impression of the course itself. So what I thought we would do first is take a look like behind the scenes of the course and how it's structured. Because for me, that's a big factor when deciding whether to purchase the course or not is what it looks like on the inside and is it user friendly. So let's take a look at everything you get with your fee, like you enroll in this course for a fee, what all do you get? And what does it look like behind the scenes? What do the videos look like? Do you get a workbook? I'm gonna answer all of those questions. So let's head to the computer and take a look at the SVG and Me Inkscape course. So let's take a look behind the scenes at the SVG and Me course. So first of all, this is the homepage. And when you sign up, what I did like was that you got this new member checklist and this had everything you needed. So it had a link to the membership portal, which I just showed you. There's a members only Facebook group. It tells you like sort of where to begin and gives you links to other things. The SVG library, the Inkscape course, which is basically what this video is about, but I'm gonna show you everything you get with the membership. Um, design challenges, tutorial videos, um, that you can share your SVGs with others and get you know things that they've made. So tons of information on this sheet and links. So each of these underlined things links out to something that you may need. And I find that this, for me, was a game changer because I could find everything really easily with just this one sheet and being able to click the links here. I do recommend joining the Facebook group. Um, I, I feel like it always helps when you have a like-minded people around to bounce ideas off of. You can see what other people are doing and get feedback, ask questions, that type of thing. So I think the, fee the Facebook group is going to be something that you'll wanna join and be active in. All right, so now let's take a look around the membership portal. So this is me, I'm signed in. So when you're signed in, this is what it will look like. Um, so first of all, you can create a profile, that type of thing. This is where your courses live. So of course, I'm going to talk about the Inkscape course because that is the main reason I wanted to go into this because I don't have any videos or anything about how to create F SVGs. So I thought this would be a good option for those that are asking me. But there are also some other courses you get with the membership. So Design Space for Beginners, Silhouette Studio for Beginners, and Canvas Workspace for Beginners. So Canvas Workspace is used for the Brother Machines if you don't know that already. And then you also get a discount to her add-on course, which is Mastering Your Cricut. So if you're interested in any of those, you get a discount on that as well. But these four 
all come with the original membership. So I'm gonna just click into the how to create SVGs from Inkscape course, but these other ones are structured similarly. So if you like the structure of the course, I think you'll enjoy these as well if you're looking for something like that. So let's click into the Inkscape course first, and then I'll scroll through the rest of these and explain what the other buttons are once we take a look inside the course. All right, so once you go inside the course, you'll see all the lessons. So the Inkscape course is 45 lessons, so it's pretty big, um, and you do get a workbook with it. I find that a lot of people, so the course is a video course, but I find that a lot of people like things that are written. They like to you know, have paper to write on and take notes. So a workbook is sort of essential for me when recommending a course. And then for each of these lessons, again, there's 45 of them, and it starts literally at the beginning. So even if you've never even heard of Inkscape before and wanna start designing your own SVG files, it starts with installing Inkscape, which again, I liked. So when you click on each of these, it has videos for you. And this one actually has um, a video for Mac as well as PC. Now we'll say, using Inkscape is going to be something you'll need a computer for. So you'll need a PC or a Mac to use Inkscape to make your SVGs. So you can watch these videos here and then these buttons will take you to the actual Inkscape site where you download. Again, Inkscape is a free program that you can use to make SVG files. So once you finish a lesson, you can mark it as complete and we'll just go ahead and do that on this one just for illustration purposes. And when you mark it as complete, you'll be moved to the next lesson. You can always go back to the previous lesson by clicking this button, but you will go to the next lesson. And what I like about the lessons are that they're video timestamps. So what I find is I watch the video through and maybe I forget in a month how to do something and I don't wanna watch the whole video through again, I just need a little piece of information. I love the video timestamps for that because I can just head to the two minute mark if I forgot how to turn on a checkerboard background, for instance. Um, and you can also take the quizzes at the end and that way you can kind of keep up with, do I really know everything that happened in the video and did I really learn the information? So take the quizzes and then of course you can click on next lesson and go back. And I did wanna show you, so that first lesson, even though I marked it complete, it just has a green check mark. I can go back to it at any time. So a month from now, if I need to reinstall Inkscape or something, I can click that lesson and watch that entire video again if I wanted to. So it doesn't go away once you mark it as complete, it just puts a green check mark beside it. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll through the lessons a little bit so you can see what all is included. What I love about this is she goes through some of the lessons and then you have a practice session. So this practice session helps you put into practice everything that you've learned above here. So you'll go through lessons here. This is mostly about text and offsets. And then you have a practice to make an SVG that uses what you've learned. And so for each of these lessons, you'll see that occasionally there's a practice session. When you complete that practice session, you're encouraged to post what you've designed in Eatscape to the Facebook group. And that helps you get feedback, ask questions, get help if you need it. So even if I am just on design practice one and I'm having trouble, I can head to the Facebook group and get that feedback and help if I need it, which I really loved. So we'll just keep scrolling down and you can see this covers just about everything with Inkscape. Again, there's two pages, 45 lessons total, tons of breaks where you do your design practice and learning everything you need to know about Inkscape. And then at the end, you go through how to save everything as SVG, troubleshooting errors, which is always good, and saving as a PNG or a PDF as well if you need to. So now let's look at everything else that comes with your membership. If you pay the one membership, 
you get access to the courses. You also get access to the first SVG is the share SVGs. This is where members can share SVGs with each other by uploading them to a Dropbox. There are also challenges. These are monthly challenges that will help keep you in practice. You do the challenge, post it to the Facebook group, and put what you've learned basically into practice. And here are a few of those past design challenges, which of course you can do now. And then there's tutorials. So she does recommend that you go through the course first, and then you can jump to these tutorials. Now there are like 140 tutorials in here. You can filter them by category. You could start at the top and work your way down, but there's tons of different tutorials on just about everything. And you can see some of these are for silhouette and some are for design space, but there are tons of tutorials to further your education about Cricut, Inkscape, and making SVG files. And then the next button is the SVG library. So with your membership, you also get access to this SVG library. There's an intro up here on how to filter your designs. You can access any of these. There are several hundred. Um, I would say if you want to use these commercially for sale, check this button first. It sorts everything and takes everything out that you can't use commercially. And she does have a link to her commercial license terms here. So if you're gonna use your membership to use these SVGs commercially, I would definitely read the license terms, click the button and only use those for commercial use. But there are tons of SVGs in here that you can use. So even if you haven't mastered designing your own or you just think this one is adorable, why design your own? You can go ahead and get those here. And you just have to click this button to download them so there's nothing else to do once you're logged in to the membership site. Then of course you have your community, which is your Facebook group. You can always click this button if you've lost the link to the community click the Facebook group button. And then we went over how you can share your SVGs with, with each other and the design challenges. She also has regular office hours where you can ask questions and sort of do a Q and A session directly with Erica live during those office hours. And then this is the Master Your Cricut course. Again, it is an additional fee to get to that. And then finally we have the resource library and these are the printable versions of everything we've talked about. So the Inkscape workbook, there's a design space for beginners workbook, Silhouette Studio, Canvas workspace. There's also a couple of extras. So there's a free font and graphics resource list as well as a list of her favorite fonts, which is really amazing as an extra. So there's a look behind the scenes of the SVG and Me course. Now let's talk a little bit about it. So now that you've taken a look at the membership and everything you get, I do want to, I'm dropping the link below, but I did want to say, so right now at the current filming of this video, the course is 197, or you can break that down into payments. So there's a couple of different options for payment, but it is 197 is the listed price right now. You saw everything you get. Now, like what are my impressions? So I think it's a super comprehensive course for anyone that wants to make SVG files. While you're learning to make the SVG files, you have access to that SVG library. So you get all those commercial licenses for, you know, I think it's a couple hundred that you get commercial licenses for in SVG files that are pre-made. So you can start using those right away. I think that, so first of all, the course is super comprehensive, tons of lessons, Everything you need to know about making your own SVG files is included. The Facebook group, super invaluable. You can only get access to that through the course membership. And then if you have questions about things like Cricut Design Space, Silhouette Studio, the Brother software, all of those courses are included with your membership, so you could take those as well. And sometimes I think it's important to understand what even, it, so maybe you, you use a Cricut, but you're gonna sell files I think it's important to understand that Silhouette software so you know how people are going to use your files within the Silhouette Studio 
and you're better able to answer questions when people approach you with questions about Silhouette and using the files you've created. So I do think it's important if your plan is eventually to sell files to other people for them to use, that you might wanna take a look at those other courses as well. So I love that those are included with the Inkscape course, so you can learn all about those before you dive in. In Silhouette Studio, you can get a free version and like test your files as well. So learning that, learning how to upload your files, learning how to test them and how they look in Silhouette is like really a great feature of the course itself, in my opinion. I also love, so my favorite part, hands down of the course, is that you have the lessons to apply what you've learned. So you have those projects to make, post to the Facebook group, get feedback, ask questions, periodically throughout the course. So you don't get all the way to the end of the course and then start trying to do the challenges. You sort of have challenges within the course that let you apply what you learned right in Inkscape. But I would also, I said it during the video, but just to reiterate, you will need a computer for this. So Mac or PC work, either one, but you will need a computer to run Inkscape in order to make your own SVG files. If you wanted the membership for other reasons, that's completely optional up to you, but if you are looking at this to make SVGs and use Inkscape, you will definitely want to be sure you have a computer before you purchase the course. That would be my number one tip. Okay, so something I didn't mention, first time I'm mentioning it, is there is a seven day satisfaction guarantee. So once you enroll, if you get in there, you find that it's not what you were looking for or not what you needed, then you do have seven days to ask for your money back because you're not satisfied. So that is a bonus to me. So you have those seven days just to make sure. I mean, I think if you've gotten this far, it probably is what you're looking for. But if you find that after you sign up that it is not what you're looking for or it doesn't work for you, you do have those seven days to ask for your money back. Right, and then the other thing is that it is a one-time fee. So you pay that 197 or the payment plan, whatever way you choose, and then you have lifetime access to the course. So everything I showed you as part of the membership, you have lifetime access to that. So you don't get kicked out. There's no monthly fee. There's no hidden fees or anything like that. It is just the one-time cost. So then last point, why is this better than searching YouTube for Inkscape tutorials and running through those and learning all the information for free? So the reason I like a course, there's a couple of reasons. The first is that it's all laid out in a way that walks you through the process. Like I said, it started with even downloading Inkscape and installing to your computer, then the next, then the next. So it's all laid out in a way that makes sense and each lesson builds on the past lesson. And then, Second reason, you had those, you know, challenges in between to sort of apply what you learned. So you have a few lessons, then you have an application period. So I don't think you would get that with a YouTube video where you apply what you learned, and then you have that Facebook group to put those designs into, to get feedback, ask questions, the office hours to ask questions of Erica, just, you know, one-on-one -on -one and direct questions are also invaluable. And then the final reason I like a course, instead of just searching for YouTube videos, is that it makes you accountable. So what tends to happen is, and I'm like, I'm guilty of this as well. So I'm like, I am going to learn Inkscape. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna learn Inkscape. And I'm really gung-ho for like a couple days and I start watching YouTube videos and then life happens. But if I've paid for a course, I feel obligated to complete that course. Like there's something in my mind that puts an obligation on it and I will actually fulfill that obligation if I've paid money or have, you know, something invested into it. So that's my third and final reason for always kind of recommending a course because it does give you that investment. So if you're like, I want to learn Inkscape, I know I want to learn Inkscape. I know I want to make my own SVG files. I think a course is the way to go to keep you accountable basically to yourself. So bottom line is I did really enjoy the SVG and me course. I think it's the, an amazing way to learn Inkscape, learn how to design your own SVG files. I'll drop a link below to that. You can check it out for yourself. So check out the sales page, run over it, 
see it hopefully it'll answer any more questions that you have but if it doesn't feel free drop down in the comment section ask me any questions that you have i'll try to answer them or i have erica's email and i can definitely ask her any questions that you have and clarify anything that you see that you don't understand if you like this video if it helped you at all give us a thumbs up if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one all the time, and you don't want to miss any of those. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.